We made a visit to Querétaro. On our handy map of Mexico, it is right here. One thing we had heard about Querétaro is there are lots of fountains and statues. Dad always says the best way to get to know a town in Mexico is to get out of the car and walk around. The streets in the city are so clean. Almost all the buildings are well kept with original details restored. The main plaza is the heart of most Mexican towns. The plaza is surrounded by other historic buildings, like the Casa de Escala. The most impressive feature of this Baroque mansion is the ironwork on its three balconies. There is also the Maison de Santa Rosa, which was the first inn in Querétaro. We chose one of the relaxing restaurants to sit and enjoy the atmosphere. The 1810 Restaurant. The year 1810 marks the independence of Mexico from Spain. For dessert, we had to try Taishi, frozen yogurt, which they serve in a freshly made fish-shaped cone. They have a huge variety of toppings. We ordered the unicorn special, which comes with a candy horn and ears. We call it the fishicorn. I had the charcoal flavor and I give it 4.3 out of 5 stars. Another thing we heard about Kirichiro, there are lots of churches. couldn't even begin to see them all, but one of the main ones is the St. Francis of Assis Temple. The convent section was started in 1589. That was over 430 years ago. Construction for the church itself began in 1640, so it is in the Baroque style. The interior is impressive with its natural stonework and gold. Across the street, the Xenia Plaza used to be the atrium to the church. But the biggest green space we saw was in the Almeda Hidalgo. It covers four square blocks and we loved it.
It's closed after dark, apparently, so the cats can take over at night. There is plenty for shoppers in Querétaro. We got some things in the Escobedo market. Another iconic church here is the Templo de Santa Rosa Viterbo. We went to the back gate first, so we had to walk around to see the front. One of the unique features are the curly shaped flying buttresses. Quite gothic feeling. It overlooks the Plaza Mariano de las Casas. Attached to the church is the Querétaro Art Center. It was a school run by the church built in 1749. Then it was a hospital. Today it's an art center. This fountain was for residents and travelers filled by the aqueduct. You can see where this stone has worn down from people leaning in. The Mukao Calendar Museum is a must-see in Querétaro. For what? A lot of times, like, a lot of times, they print it on, they have it on these, and then they would roll the ink on it and then take it off. There's there different things you can do. A lot of work was done in restoring this building and the grounds. It has a giant wooden replica of an Aztec calendar and tons of artworks used in calendars. There is a huge collection of calendars dating back to the 1800s and a little restaurant at the rear of the museum. We also learned about the restoration of the building itself. Oh, another well. Okay. Okay, all I can say is we're going to have to come back here. I'm kind of mad we only have one day here. Yes. I made a wish and dropped a coin into the old well. Calendarius Landine. After seeing all that, the view from the terrace was a great way to top off the visit here. The second museum wasn't any less impressive. The Querétaro Regional Museum is located in the former convent to the Templo de San Francisco and tells the local history. After squeezing through this tiny door, we thought it was a dead end, but it was just a hidden opening behind the display.
It's a mummy, you guys. It's a literal mummy. Oh, that's crazy. Selfie time, Sophie. Selfie time. Every city has its historic theater. Querétaro is special because this is where the very first performance of the Mexican National Anthem was done. All four buildings on this corner are recessed to create a sort of plaza. So all over we have seen these signs that candy shops are selling pedos de monja, which translate as nun farts. We finally decided to go into a candy shop to check it out. These are peanuts in the shell in vinegar. Audrey, do you know what this is? Mummies made of taffy. We finished off the visit with some typical food. While waiting for our order, we had to try the Pelo Simonca candy. Go ahead. Okay, you gonna try it first? Let's see what it looks like in the middle. Turn around. It's just a chocolate. It's a chocolate. It's a chocolate. Mm. They're really good. Mom always orders guac. So, okay, so you I have the Tortitas de Miga, which is like scraps of some of the bottom that they incorporate into the and this is called, tell me again what it's called? De menas, mermenas. And you have? Chile, quesera, lachera. And I have enchiladas. Adios, Queretaro. Thanks for watching World Audrey. Don't forget to like and subscribe.